Hello everyone, welcome to the second part of my travel blog to Northern Ireland. Those who haven't seen the first part, please go visit the link in the description below. In the first part, we showed you the Belfast City Hall, the magnificent Titanic Belfast, the Carrickfergus Castle, and the Caves of Cushendon. As we continue our ride, through our Mecom's bus tour, the next stop is the Giant's Causeway, which is also located in Antrim County. Once you reach the Giants Causeway area, you'll see that there's a visitor center to help you with a guided tour with fees. Visitors can take a paid ride on the bus if you think half mile of walk down and up the hill can be tiresome for you or your family. Otherwise, you can also independently walk down the hill to reach the Giant Causeway for free. But on your way down, you'll see plenty of corners to take a picture with the sea, the stones and the hills in the backdrop. After 15 to 20 minutes of walk, you'll reach the Giant's Causeway. And as you can tell by the name of it, it's literally a giant way of basalt columns at the edge of the sea. The Giant's Causeway is a geological wonder. It has a landscape of dramatic cliffs and around 40,000 basalt stone columns. Most of the columns are hexagonal, but the tops of the columns is above the sea level and it forms stepping stones that disappear under the sea, given its unique structure like a giant path of stones that is now partly above the sea and partly under the sea, there are myths and legends regarding the formation of this amazing place because the legend says that the columns are the remains of a causeway built by a giant. The story goes that the Irish giant was challenged to a fight by a Scottish giant and the Irish giant accepted the challenge and built this causeway across the North Channel through which he can travel to Scotland to defeat the Scottish giant. However, according to scientific community, the dramatic cliffs with around 40,000 basalt stone columns were created by volcanic eruptions around 60 million years ago. It was also declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1986. After departing from the Giant's Causeway and route, we stopped for a while near the Dunluce Castle. The Dunluce Castle is considered as one of the most picturesque and romantic of Irish castles. Unlike the Carrickfergus Castle, this one is in a fragile condition in the cliffs hanging over the sea. The present Castle Ruins is believed to have been established in early 16th century. But whatever the condition of the castle is, you can take beautiful pictures keeping the castle in the backdrop. Then we stopped in the old Bushmills Distillery Company to see this centuries old factory in the Bushmills town. The distillery is operating since 1608 and is one of the oldest licensed distillery in the world. And there is a gift shop and an adjacent bar to experience the Bushmills Irish whiskey. Of the Bushmills, next up and our last stop was the Dark Hedges. This Dark Hedges is an avenue of beech trees in Ontrim County of Northern Ireland and these giant trees form a tunnel-like atmosphere. The place came to a fame once it was portrayed in the HBO's popular television series Game of Thrones as the King's Road through which young Arya Stark travels. Since then this road has become a popular tourist attraction. With the visit to the Dark Ages, our day trip came to an end with Macombs and we went back to Belfast and the very next day 
it was time to say goodbye to Northern Ireland. And before saying adios to Belfast, we took picture with a giant at the Belfast International Airport. Cheers! Thanks for watching.